Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be finally starting to get into basic algebra math and equations. You're going to be using this for the rest of the math uh, all the way up into calculus and further. You're always going to be solving for unknowns. So this one is going to do some basic problems just to get the idea of what you, you will be doing. So the first example here we got is 3x equals 15. What these all are, what algebra is doing is you're solving for an unknown. In this case x is the unknown. And to solve for it, you have to get x by itself, isolated by itself. So you want to get all the x's on one side if you do have multiple ones, and uh, all the whole numbers on the other side. And whatever n x equals ends up being that answer. So in this case, we should get a whole number, x will equal a whole number. Sometimes when you get into higher math, you may still even have variables. Like when you get into uh, multiple variables, sometimes x may equal 3y, and that's your answer. But uh, this is just basic algebra, so getting the idea of what to do. So mainly what you're doing, whatever you do to, to get x, you want to get x by itself. So whenever it's being done, something is being done to it, you do the opposite. So x is being multiplied by 3. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by 3. And whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same thing to the opposite side. Because if you just do it to one, you ruin the whole equation. So you have to keep these equal. This is essentially to have a ratio to each other. So if you do it to both sides, you keep that ratio the same. So again, this one is being uh, 3 is being multiplied by x, so we now divide by 3, and we do it to both sides. Now, uh, because we're dividing, obviously the 3 and the 3 cancel out, and that actually leaves you with x. And 15 divided by 3 equ equals 5, so now your uh, whole new equation is x equals 5. And that's it for as one as simple as that. You can always check your work by plugging it back in and make sure, making sure. And we know that 3 times 5 is 15. So now we go on to the next one. Sometimes what you want to do first is you may have to uh, simplify. Or uh, as they say combine like terms. So in this case we have only one x value. But we have uh, two whole numbers. So we can combine those. Bring it down. So 5x. Now we have a negative 10 and a positive 5. You mix those Combine those together and you get negative 5 equals 25. So now we want to get the x's on one side and the whole numbers on the other. So again, whatever you do to do that, you do to both sides. So because we're subtracting 5, we do the opposite. We add 5 and we do it to both sides. So now these cancel out and you just bring this down. 5x equals 25 minus 5 is 20. So now we get back to this situation. 5 is being multiplied by x, so now we divide by 5, both sides. And the 5's cancel out, leaving you with x. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. Then we have uh, one more example. Sometimes you're, they may look like this. You may get x's and whole numbers on both sides. And again, like I said before, just get the x's on one and the whole numbers on the other. Sometimes people like to do it all at once. I like to do it one by one just to make, make sure I don't make a mistake or anything like that. So first I work with the whole numbers. So I'll bring down the, uh, um, the 11x. I won't do anything to that. I'm going to get the whole numbers on that side. So I'm going to, this one's subtracting 13, so I'm going to add 13 to both sides. And that cancels out. And now that equals 9x. And we get uh, 13 and 3 is 16. Now I will work with the x's. So I don't want to get x's on this side. So this is essentially being plus 9. So I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides. Then when I get that, I get now 2x equals, those cancel out, equals 16. And again, now we're back to that similar one. 2 is being multiplied by x, so now we divide by 2, both sides. Divide by 2, the 2's cancel out, leaving you with x. And on that side, we now get 8. So now x equals 8. And so that's how you basically do basic algebra. Just whatever you do, you want to isolate the x's and the whole numbers. And to do that, you do the opposite that's being done. And make sure you do it to both sides and you're, you will get your equation. You will solve for x. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.